Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of the Gem City Gridiron Roundup podcast for the season 2022. As always, I am your host, Dalton Van Pelt Scotch on the sidelines. With me, I have the commissioner, Zachary Stewart. How are you, sir? Doing very well. That's good. How was your conference? It was good. A lot of drinking. Um, yeah, that's how it goes at those conferences. Um, we, um, Our district won the Fish Award, which was the... It was the district that partied the hardest, but also made huh. it to everything on time. So interesting. We had the most fun. We were at we attended everything, not skip a session, went to every session, and did it all over again each night, each day. Nice. Had a lot of <laughs> had a lot of whiskey. I bet. Three or four doubles each night. Oof. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. I scored 100 points this week. Yeah, your team's looking a little uh, sour there, defending champ. We'll get into that later. Yeah. Starting with the IRL football. Yes. Kansas City beats Los Angeles Chargers. Kansas City comes back in the fourth quarter to take the lead. And yeah, shot the game. did not get to watch a lot of that game because it was on Amazon Prime. Um, so did not partake into much except box score watching and highlights. Um, I know it's uh, Justin Herbert uh, left the game. Um, it's like a rib yeah. separation or something. Yeah, like rib cartilage. Um, so uh, he should be back. And it's also the injury that Alvin Kamara has, too. That's something to note. Might be a little bit more detrimental to a running back than a quarterback, but um, I what they said they're just going to probably have extra, extra protection. Uh, but we'll we'll wait and see um, what happens. Eagles line up for a field goal to end the half, and they make it. And uh, jumping jumping again, but uh, Malik Willis in the game for Tennessee, rookie quarterback. Right. Yeah. They're down 41-7 to seven with a minute to go oh. in the third quarter. Might as well get the, the young rookies some, some reps. Mm-hmm. I still think the Titans are uh, winning the division. But... Jackson looks right. pretty good. Really nothing to talk about in that game, huh? Not Such really. Jalen Hurts injury. Jalen Hurts. Justin Herbert? I mean, Justin Herbert. Yeah, Justin Herbert. Uh, should be fine. Um, Keenan Allen missed the game. Um, Mike Williams, big Mike games, Williams. big bike, and a big game. Um, CEH again, CEH again, but otherwise, uh, nothing too crazy. Juju got a little uh, quiet game. Um, the big names didn't do a whole lot. Um, it's a lot of, I guess, big bike and Kelsey, but that was about it. Another comeback fourth quarter win, this time by the number 19 wearing Joe Flacco. Just you, take care of business. What a game. It was amazing. Um, there was three touchdowns scored under the two-minute warning in the fourth quarter. Um, oh, shit, I see that. Ex- crazy. Um, Garrett Wilson, huge game. Um, uh, Joe Flacco, yeah, man. Joe Flacco, man. It was, it was just so fitting. I, I want to see the Browns lose as many games as possible this year. Um, so it was just fitting to see the Jets win and then just the Browns lose in Browns fashion. Um, Nick Chubb, three touchdowns, though, three tutties. Brees Hall and Michael Carter both above 10 points again. Yeah. Um, yeah, Gary Wilson, nice day. Corey Davis catches a long touchdown, battles him out. Elijah Moore is going to get going. It's, it's all right. Um, but – Joe Flacco, big day, and Amari Cooper, big day, too. Yeah, that was nine, was nine for 100. I'm sure that was great in best ball. Yeah, it was. Donovan Peoples Jones, zero targets. After getting or one target, after getting 30, 30% of them last week. Weird. Yeah. 
That's that's how it goes. Dallas really somehow gets it done against the Bengals. What is going on in Cincinnati? Same thing as last year and the year before. They can't protect Joe Burrow. They just, I mean, they they got they had what seven sacks. Um, Pittsburgh sacked him seven times last week, and Dallas sacked him six times this week. Like that's a recipe for disaster. Like I don't care how Dallas's good. front front four is pretty good. So is Pittsburgh's. So like, it, yep. but it, but it doesn't matter. Like you can't. You're gonna get him killed back there. It's it doesn't matter how good he is. Like and kind of the same thing. Like Pittsburgh when they played last week, they took a lead and they kind of tried to milk it and. Joe Burrow's good enough to come back, and that's what Dallas did. Like, they got up, you know, two possessions and kind of tried to milk it out and then just ran Zeke up the middle for two yards in a cloud of dust, and here comes Joe Burrow again. I mean, but this time, the Cowboys and Cooper rush with the game-winning drive, 50-yard field goal by Brett Maher. So, and the Cowboys win it. It's it's great to see the Bengals lose, too. That division. Noah Brown. Got a Remember? lot of work with Cooper Rush, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Five Big for game. 91 on a touchdown. CD Lamb ends up getting most of his yardage on that final two drives. Yeah. And uh, Pollard looked really fast. He gets the touchdown. Yeah. And the four catches for 55 yards. Yeah, he gets tackled uh, at the one yard line and then they give it to him. Zeke is not being used in the passing game. And no. I would expect that to continue with Cooper Rush on our center. Um, yeah. Jamar Chase and Joe Mixon have serviceable days, but it was the T. Higgins show with the touchdown and the sideline in the end zone towards the end of that game. Yeah, they're not going to oh, – excuse me. They're not going to get much going if they can't, you know, stop anybody and just go three and out with all those sacks. I mean, they got to address the offensive line and get better. Otherwise, you're not even going to make the playoffs. Uh, Nico Collins and Brandon Cooks have almost identical days. Looks like Davis Mills. Um, neither could Russell under 50% completion percentage. It was, that but was Portland bad. Sutton Terrible. does get in the mix. Terrible game to watch. I'm glad I, I didn't watch it. For everyone thinking the Broncos are going to be as high-flying offense, Man, they they can't do anything. Like they, they were lined up for a fifty, that was a fifty-three or fifty-four yard field goal, and they send the kicking unit out late, and then ended up taking the delay a game, and then punting the ball. Like it's just crazy. Like there was um because they had issues last week with the play clock. Apparently the head like the OC, which is the the head coach. Is getting the plays in late and causing delay of games. And um, that's what happened in Seattle um, last week. And that's happened this week. It, it was even a running joke. Obviously, I mean, it, the home fans booing you, that's that's rough. And um, there was even a joke going around the stadium. They were, as the play clock was counting down, they were counting down with the play clock so they could snap the ball. <laughs> like, it's, it's embarrassing. <laughs> Lions all of a sudden have a very potent offense, 36, Commanders 27. Um, I got the Commanders before they were favored on a bet, and that obviously didn't pay, but that is fine. Um, Fun game. I just saw something go across the ticker, Chase Rollier uh, likely yeah. out for the season, so that yeah. sucks. Um, holy cow, Carson Wentz. Holy cow, Jared Goff throws four touchdowns, 121.7 quarterback rating. Amon oh. <laughs> uh, Ross St. Brown proves me wrong. Yeah. Um, yeah, I missed on him quite a bit. Um, sorry, I'm watching this Mike Evans fight. Um, great shit. Yeah, Mike Evans scheduled for – or uh, suspended for one game following yeah. an altercation with Marshawn Lattimore. Yeah, they do not get along. Um, uh, Curtis yeah, I mean, Samuel yeah. is the number one target. Did it again. Um, worth the four hundred bucks that Drew spent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but oh, the um, Bills have their backup quarterback in now too. The Lions are going to be fun to watch. High flying offense, not a very good defense. 
So they're going to be in some high scoring games. Jared Goff loves to be down 17 all season. Well, slinging the pill. Well, they were Jared up, Goff was up, though. Yeah. They were still slinging it, though. That's what Carson Wentz loves, too. He's slinging the rock. John another Dotson. Fest. Another touch in. Another snooze fest. Uh, Packers 27. Bears 10. Justin Fields goes 7 for 11. Uh, did they even have the ball in this game? How'd they even score? Aaron Rodgers owns the Bears. Oh, was that was Justin last? Fields rushing touchdown. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, yeah, last yeah, year. yeah. The owns the Bears. It was the I Wikipedia own you. page. Yeah. Um, how do you lose by 20 and only throw it 11 times? They sense. gave David Montgomery like 25 carries. No, they gave him 15. 15, oh, 122. They yards. never yeah. had the ball. Yeah. That's like, is it, what do you do with Darnell Mooney? Like, obviously, Cole Komet, you got to dump him. Um, but Mooney, Mooney, I feel like you just stash him and you just got to hold there's him. There's better game script and less shitty weather in Chicago, I guess. But it was in Green Bay. So, yeah, I mean, I mean you can't Sammy Watkins for better with the big script. play. But uh, basically, Aaron Rodgers is just sprinkling it all over the park. Uh, Aaron, Aaron Jones, Jones and A.J. Dillon are like the only two on that offense besides Aaron Rodgers that you can play. Yeah, Aaron Jones, big big day, two teddies. Yeah, you got to play them both. You got to play Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon. Yeah. Jacksonville shuts out the Colts. The Colts don't have Michael Pittman Jr., and that was important, apparently. Yeah, him uh, and Alec Pierce both missed the game. Matt Ryan with a 34 quarterback rating. Yikes. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, 25 of 30 for 235 and two touchdowns. James, Robin, James Robinson gets the, the workload today Yeah, during this game. Really? Looks, looks good. This has three yards of cloud of dust, though. Eh. He did have the big play. Every every rush he had, though, went um, – he what was it? All his yards were after contact, though. If <laughs> – you know what's crazy? If you take away his 37-yard rush, then he went 22 for 27. And they're all positive yards. <laughs> Barely. Barely. But that 37-yarder went for a touchdown. If you take – if you get rid of that, he had uh, 27 yards. Uh, can't take, take it away. I wish they would. Uh, so nothing they else happened in this game. Um, I saw something along the lines of maybe the Falcons' issues were Matt Ryan's problems in the red zone. Maybe he can't function in the red zone. I don't know. But they were just bad. Uh, what was it? Jonathan Taylor's like 10 touches. Like, yeah, not, it was bad. Like, um, with all the receivers out, Naheem Hines catches like four passes. Just really weird. Um, they just kind of got walloped. Jacksonville stomped on them. It seems like the Saints live inside of the Buccaneers' head because every time they go in there, they get all nervous. Very, very boring game until the fourth quarter. Yeah, fourth quarter was um, entertaining. Michael um, Thomas gets another touchdown. Nine targets, six catches, 65 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, Chris Olave with 13 points. And... Don't say his name. Prashad Perriman. Oh, touchdown. Three for 45 and a touchdown. I was, I was looking for something else <laughs> interesting. Mike Evans uh, has a serviceable game. <clears throat> three it's for suspended. 61. Yeah. yeah, it gets suspended for a game. Well, he's appealing. So that's going to be so. is that, next week's probably the Godwin game then. Maybe. Oh, yeah. He's appealing. So there should be a decision before the game, though. So, um, but is um, Lattimore was talking talking trash to Brady and then Fournette jumped in and Mike Evans was run, like going towards the sideline after the, you know, a three and out or whatever. And then Mike Evans just turns and then just comes and lays the hammer on um, Lattimore. Crazy. And then they both get ejected for fighting. Great stuff. Like he, he hit him hard. Like it wasn't just like a, just a push. He like, <laughs> it, it was a good one. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. Panthers cannot close out a game to save their lives. Uh, Giants are 2-0. and 
with a 19-16 win against the Carolina Panthers. Christian McCaffrey, as long as he is healthy, is a stud. Um, not much else to talk about in this one, huh? Sterling Shepard with the Jarvis Landry day. Yeah. Um, when do you think Matt Rule gets fired? It's coming. Bye week. What's their bye week? 13. Ooh. Well before that. Halloween. Yeah, week 13. Uh, oh, it's their third straight season with the late bye, apparently. Yeah. Is there um, – um, Is it, He's going to be gone. If they, if they start – he'll be gone by week five. So, obviously, he's the coach, like, that everyone thinks is going to get fired. Is there another coach that you think um, could get fired? Well, I wish it was McCarthy, but McCarthy can't get fired because he doesn't have Dak. So, no. um, is there someone? I mean, obviously, you want him to get fired. Um, there's one. There's no, one guy, Frank Reich, maybe, but he is so beloved. I know. You know who I want to get fired? Who? Get rid of Cliff, Cliff Kingsbury. Just get rid of him. Why? He's so bad. <laughs> so they bad. They're so awful to watch. All right, we'll skip to that game. Uh, Cardinals defense is atrocious. However, their defense did win them the game in overtime. Uh, yeah. Hunter Renfro fumbles trying to extend for a first down return back to the house. Game over. In overtime, yeah, that's a tough one. Um, Devontae Adams, the lowest total, like yards total since I, I saw it was like 2017. Um, you only had, yeah, uh, it looks like they just decided to sell out on Devontae yeah. Adams. Still had seven targets, so uh, Waller had the bit better day. Yep, Waller, good day. Um, who was it for the the Cardinals? It was uh, obviously Greg Dortch, another touchdown. Yeah, Dortch is back, but I, I thought he was going to be dead. But mm-hmm. AJ Green had seven targets, it was the Zach Ertz day, and Mar- yeah. Marquise Brown. Yeah, Hollywood had 12, 10, 11 or 12 targets. AJ Brown, AJ Green, sorry, AJ Green could not catch a ball. He dropped like three balls in a row in the red zone. And it was like, oh my gosh. Do you think he's already at his retirement home? He's at least in living Arizona? there part time. Yeah. Um, no Patriots finally made me look good. They beat the Steelers. Um, Jacoby Myers. Nelson Aguilar, Damian Harris. Damian Harris did get hurt in the last play of the game, so we'll see what happens with him. Um, but, yeah, that, that game was ugly to watch. Um, just not one of the – you know, when you think Patriots-Steelers, like that's a, a classic game. Not no more. So. Not no more. This is a game that they hardly want to put on TV. Falcons put up a shitload of points in the uh, fourth quarter. It uh, feels like the Rams probably did what they normally do, and they let their foot off the gas pedal. They did. And and that caused some problems. Yeah, it was – I don't get how NFL teams do that. Like, they just get up and they just pull the gas off, and then they make it a game in the fourth quarter. And so many backdoor covers for betters. Cooper Cup does it again. He does. Yeah. Drake London coming out party. Yeah. You know, who's, and yeah. Tyler Algier is the backup running back to Cordero Patterson. Yep. At a BYU. Yeah. What were you going to say? Oh, I just holding out hope for my guy, Kyle Pitts. One day. One day. Another, another two for 19 day. Back to back weeks. Two catches, 19 yards. I don't know why you draft this guy fourth overall. And don't give the ball. I don't get it. I really don't. It's frustrating. We had a track meet down in Miami, another hot day, another wild game. Yeah. Uh, Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle. Uh, they show why they both needed to be drafted around the same time. Yeah. I believe Jalen Waddle, 19 targets. Um, Holy and, cow, two a ton of law. Yeah, and, and 36 think, for 50, 469, six touchdowns, two yeah. picks. 
Yep, Hill and Waddle had two apiece. I believe Waddle had 19 targets, and I believe Hill had 15. Um, but they both went crazy. I know Hill went 190 yards, and um, Waddle went like 170. 171, um, yep. Yeah, crazy. River Crackraft. Crackraft. That helps, helps nobody. nobody. Yeah, but it helps too does help to a six touchdowns oh my god i never thought it, i would see someone like Tua do 469 for six touchdowns who was the last person that you can remember that throws six touchdowns did philip rivers ever do it i don't know but the last one i remember was when nick Foles did it mm. remember when he did that for the eagles yeah great one uh lamar jackson looked like this game was over it, i just re- remember i wasn't actually watching football on Sunday I was doing other stuff I can't exactly remember what now top of my head because it's late on Monday but uh I got like four notifications in a row because all of his touchdowns came in the first half yeah it was again same thing like they got up 35 to 14 and just kind of tried to coast and and Tua just starts slinging it all over the place and Basically, yeah. they just said two of it go ahead and beat us, and then somehow he did. Yeah, that was crazy. Like he and he was letting it fly too. He was Mark fly. Andrews, Rashad Bateman with the big days, uh, mm-hmm. Devin Duvernay with the touchdown, opening kickoff touchdown, off return touchdown. Yep. Mm-hmm. Tough news in San Francisco: Trey Lance done for the year, ankle yeah. surgery, two ankle uh, surgeries. 49ers. Oh, really? Yeah, they had two operations on it. So they said Oof. today. Oh, it was early in the game, too, huh? Two of yeah. three for 30 yards, three attempts for 13. It looked like uh, the dash press got ankle. With... Oh, really? Yeah. That's so shitty. Yeah, sucked. Hopefully he can recover. Special Hopefully. player. Hopefully. Jeff Wilson uh, supplants his role, especially with Tyrion Davis Price getting hurt in the on the last drive. Yep. Yeah. yeah, back to Jimmy G. Back to Jimmy Good game. G. He had yeah. the uh, rushing touchdown. He is going to facilitate to Ayuk and to uh, Debo. He, yeah. he knows how to run the offense. He's going to run it well. Debo had an extremely nasty t- um, run out of the backfield. Yeah. D- uh, it's going to elevate all those Niners plays. Obviously, we, we want to see Trey Lance, but um, it's going to – ooh, Kirk Cousins pick. Yeah. Sorry. Will Disley, two catches for zero yards. One must have been for two yards, and the other one was for negative two yards. Could have caught two for zero. Well, one. no, because the long the long was two. Oh, okay. So I, I've seen people that <laughs> go like is it one catch for zero yards. Um, let, let's see. This is a three-headed monster in the backfield, four-headed monster for the Four. Seahawks. Four-headed. DJ Dallas, Rashad Penny, and Kenneth Walker, Travis Homer. They He's, don't really know what they're doing besides the fact that Tyler Lockett had a random Tyler Lockett game. Do you see the the, the interception DJ Dallas threw? Mm-mm. Oh, my God. It was so bad. So they, they lined up in 40 personnel, which is four running backs and no quarterback. <laughs> so uh, Kenneth Walker is uh, in the pistol. You have – uh homer behind him rashad penny to kenneth walker's right and you have dita dallas to his left they snap it so it was a triple option formation yeah triple option and hands it off to dj dallas and dita dallas rolls to the right and metcalf's running um a corner route and <laughs> dj dallas just throws this thing in the flat and just easily picked off and uh dj dallas is like like what and like uh he, he was trying to like tell dk where to go and dk was just like no this way <laughs> like, oh it was, it was so bad like not even like he just like threw it right in the bread basket of this defender right in his chest oh it was so bad it was Jalen hilarious Hurst now has 31 points Fun yeah Jalen hurts man uh do we touch on a Tennessee game? Let's. I, that's pretty much over, right? Let me find well, all you need to know over. is Josh Allen and Stefan Diggs are on a freaking mission. 
Um, let's pull some more box score. Two picks for Tanny Hill. Malik Willis in the game. Yeah, he's got seven plays of involvement so far. Yeah. Um, who is H. Haskins? Hassan, Hassan Haskins. He is in the game for the Titans as well with Malik Willis. Um, Devin Singletary, six carries for 19. The Bills just don't care about running the ball, all right? No, they do 12 don't. catches, 148 yards, and three touchdowns versus Von Dix. Yeah, three gritties. Oh, my God. Traylon Burks gets some involvement. That's good to see him and uh, Robert Woods both do diddly poo. Yeah. The Bills defense scored a bunch of touchdowns. Um, let's get a quick update on the game that we're watching. Spock score as well. In fact, uh, what is Kirk Cousins' prime time record? He's really bad in prime time on Monday night, especially. Yeah. Yeah, Monday so night. Two and seven on Monday night. Two and nine, the worst win percentage ever for a quarterback starting 10 games on Monday night. The Vikings play a lot of Monday night games, which is weird. Well, even before that, when he was a, a Redskin. The, the Raiders. Yeah. That uh, Justin crazy. Jefferson's getting involved. Um, Devontae Smith is getting involved, so that's that's pretty big. Dallas Goddard. It looks like they're double bracketing AJ Brown. Uh, he just got another target just now, now but yeah, dropped it. Yeah, uh, you're about one play ahead of me. Um, let's but... see what other uh, headlines do we have? Tyrion Davis Price is out for multiple weeks with an ankle injury. Yeah. Dalton Schultz twists his uh, knee on that uh, game-winning drive. Not yeah. sure if he's going to. They said um, PCL. I think they're good. I think Zach Wilson's going to be out again. Oh, yeah, he's week, already been ruled out. Yeah, um, week four is their target date. But with as good as Joe Flacco's been playing, I don't think they really care. <laughs> J.K. Joe Dobbins Flacco. is week to week. Well, he was actually in, Yeah, he practiced full all week, um, so he's getting closer, and they're just being cautious with him. Yeah, and he practiced full Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so he's getting close. Ramondre Stevenson led the backfield with 62% of snaps against the Steelers. Expect that to increase next week with Damian Harris being a little knocked up. Uh, Michael Gallup likely able to play in week three, but he's not fantasy relevant until Dak comes back. Yeah, and we'll see if when he does. James Conner with a banged up ankle, not expected to be serious. Uh, Josh Gordon was elevated to the active roster for this game. There was, um, I have a super flex league that both my quarterbacks were Dak Prescott and Trey Lance. Oof. I, now I have Marcus Mariota and Cooper Rush. Nathaniel Hackett says, following a 16 to 9 win over Texans, he would be booing himself. <laughs> Yeah, I can't believe how bad Denver looks. They're, they look horrible. And Judy got hurt, and Patrick Sertan got hurt. Oof. Yeah, both All shoulder right. injuries. Matchups that mattered. Yeah, um, let me... I lost. There was there was no possible lineup which would have got me there. Um, yeah, defending champ on zero and two. That is a scary situation. It's all right. Well, what do we decide? Zero and four. That's like. If you start 0 and 4, I don't think anyone's come. I don't think anyone's made the playoffs after start 0 and 4 because then you got to go 7 and 3. I have not looked ahead to next week, but I might as well do that. I've got Sackett next week, so you know he's going to show up for that one. And by the way, Sackett is going to lose too to the defend the two t- people in the title game last year. 0 and 2. Yep, Luke just absolutely smoked him. Stephon Diggs, 44.8 points. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Luke's Brother on a mission to put a uh, team together. Um, well, yeah, we'll jump back to yours real fast. Sorry, I jumped ahead there. That's all right. There's really nothing else to really talk about. Um, I actually was leading coming into tonight until Jalen Hurts happened. Yeah, that was no, that the was first gonna... touchdown was a Jalen Hurts rushing touchdown, and that's when I knew it was over. Yeah, he had yeah two rushing touchdowns. Mike Williams, Brandon Cooks, Rashad Bateman. No, on uh, on Thursday night, I already knew it was over because he got 38 
from Mike Williams and Gerald Everett. And the Chargers kicker to the end. Uh, oh, yeah, six. All right. Yeah. Uh, the Brink Bowl is coming down to the wire. It is. Stewart is still projected to win. However, Adam Thielen, uh, I, he needs Adam Thielen to get involved. He does. Because Al- Allen's because but... Josh Josh is done for the game. So yep. the Eagles defense is only going to go down. Oh wait, no. His Vikings, Vikings defense. Vikings defense is only really going to go down from where they are right now. Mm-hmm. So that's if Thielen one. doesn't get involved, then Garrett is going to take the brink ball again. Yeah. The um, the only thing that I mean, Lamar Jackson and Mark Andrews, that's about it. He got the long touchdown to Corey Davis. A six it was a 65 yard touchdown, I believe. So um yeah that's a tough one bill's defense drake london curtis samuel and nick chubb combined for a astounding victory over blaster um same story as uh me the first couple weeks it's kind of hard to win when your team doesn't score touchdowns we're gonna go to two and oh man yep two and oh good for him aj brown like three hey, straight good catches. for good for him. He pays the four hundred bucks for Curtis Samuel. You better freaking play him, and he does. And good it pays off. And it pays off another another twenty spot for him. Another one that's coming close. Uh, Lean was supposed to walk away with this one. Oh However, wow! Kirk Cousins and Justin Jefferson are not doing the hottest. I still think he's going to pull it out. Fourteen more points. Um, I still think that's like it all depends on way. if the Vikings decide that they want to actually try to win this game. Yeah, there's you're a sack for the Vikings defense, so you're, yeah, that's, you're, uh, that's another point for um, Stewart. Yeah, yeah, um, it'll be interesting to see how these these matchups end. Uh, yeah, we already who, talked about Cody losing. Yeah, uh, Stephon Diggs really put it away. Just a solid performance. Yeah, sack it. Kind of a rough day. You know, if you don't score touchdowns, you're not going to score a lot. I mean, it's one thing your quarterback scores touchdowns. But, yeah, T. Higgins and Darren Waller. That was it. Everybody else. Sutton catch one. Yeah. No, Sutton didn't have a touchdown. But, yeah, good game. Yeah, good game. I I mean, touchdowns elevate your team um, by quite a bit. Luke, man, Luke's at 167. It's just crazy. You uh, are now projected to win. I know. I, I I need a win. I need to get I, – I don't like being that 0-2, um, that 0-2 land. He's having a rough day from his running backs. Um, it's sad when my kicker is Alex Gordon, Dalvin Cook. Um, a lot but, of game left in this one, though. A lot of game, yeah. I mean, they, you got a whole quarter and a half, so that could change very quickly. Your kicker is about to get three more points, by the way. I'll take that, though. Yeah, um, that, that next these next three points might submit it, although Dalvin Cook touchdown could change mm-hmm. things. But, yeah, um, that'll be close. Um, yeah, nothing. I mean, talk about the bets from last week. Yeah. One second. Let me see if any kicks have been missed in the Titans game. Oh, missed kick. You win right. the bet. <laughs> did did Elliot miss field goal? He got it got blocked. <laughs> but you won the bet. That doesn't matter. Does that count as a missed field goal? I think it does. It does. He had, oh, he didn't return for a touchdown. That would help Brinkman. Yep, counts as a miss. So you did win two out of three bets this week. Nice. So that's a way to start week one, I guess. Well, I guess if the Bills or someone would miss another king. Uh, the Bills would have to miss three for me to win and two oh. for, for it to be a push. Bills gotcha. game. Um. Oh, laces okay. were in. Come on, man. Come on, punter. So I took the Patriots. You took the Steelers. Patriots won. I won that bet. That was with the minus one to plus one spread. Uh, total yards, Mar- Mariota versus Stafford. I took Mariota. You took Stafford. You won that bet. And with the Jake Elliott blocked kick, you take the uh, most missed field goals. 
Uh, nice. Bet. I have the AFC. You had the NFC. I have the AFC. Well, no, you said the Eagle. That's backwards. The Eagles are in the NFC. Yeah. But you said I have the AFC. I have the AFC. No, no, no. You had the you had the NFC National Football Conference. Yeah, but what the bet was more missed kicks, right? Or more most missed. Yeah. So the NFC and the NFC missed more kicks. So I lost. So you won. What are you talking about? I have the NFC and they've missed the most kicks. So I lost. Yeah. We'll have to roll back the tape. Oh, I guess I'm. The, I, I guess I'm confused on which side of the bet you wanted. Like, you you want the missed kicks? I see what you mean. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was the other way around. Like, who had the no. least? Okay, my bad. That that's where the confusion was. My All right. Bad. What are your bets? Well, let's pull up our unofficial sponsor of DraftKings. <laughs> Come. Uh, Oh, I uh, had a bunch. I watched some highlights today because I watched absolutely zero football until tonight this weekend. Oh. Um, and I made some notes, but we basically touched on all of them. But uh, one funny one is Lamar Jackson has decided he wants to be a quarterback this year, contract year. Mm-hmm. And that's – oh, the Colts will be middling all year. That's my observation. Oh, my God, another Kirk Cousins interception. You gotta be kidding me, dude! And they're is it, are they targeting Jess and Jefferson again on this? I'm gonna puke. No, is he just forcing it? Yeah, man. Kirk Cousins doing Kirk Cousins things on Monday Night Football. <laughs> all right, let's go to the sports book. All righty, all righty, all righty. Hey, I'm about to win a three-team parlay for a dollar that pays seven dollars. <laughs> All right, three strikes away from a seven-dollar payout on a one-dollar bet. Not bad. It's a good day of baseball, right there. All right, so you get the first bet. Okay, you get the first pick. Let's go. Hmm. I like to try to. I don't like the ones that are like one or two because you just basically pick the winner. Um, let's go. Where are we at here? Sorry, my computer's loading. All right, all right, all right. How about? Okay. Buccaneers, two and a half point favorites at home against the Packers. Why are they only getting two points like every week? They just two don't and a half. Tom Brady this year or what? Two and a half point favorites. Spread. Yeah, under over is 41. Where's it being played? In Tampa. Two and a half points. Give, give me the box. Okay, I'll take the Packers. All right, here. This is the second one. All right. Bear, Bears Texans. The Bears are at home, three point favorites. Give me the Texans. Oh, yuck! Under over a forty. Like oh, give me. I mean, I I would rather have the Texans, obviously, but I'll take the Bears in the under. Yeah. Hmm. This one. This one's. I don't know if I want to bet on this one, but the Bills are six points. What's the spread? Oh, it's three. three point three. favorite for the Bears. Yeah. And oh my God. So I get the three points at least. No, that's worse. That's worse for you. You got to lay the three. <laughs> yeah. The Bears have to lay three. That's terrible. I'd be going to put money on the Texans all day. Um, I'm not and sure if I want to bet on and the under. Um, the, I think those lines going to change pretty quickly, but. Um, because it doesn't make sense to me. The the Bills are six point favorites on the road in Miami with an under over of 53. Ooh. So like that's that's crazy because like you're thinking that the Bills are gonna win by more than six. And, and there's gonna be and there's gonna be fireworks. Like that that means it's like 
you're going what 37 to 30 like it's almost begging you to take miami but um you know what let's do that one you get a pick you get a pick first dolphins at home uh bills six point favorites on the road Um, give me the bills. Now I, I would like to offer extra points. If you guess the over or under right on this one. Okay. Um, well, I'll, we'll snake draft it. You pick cause you're going to take the dolphins okay. now. Yep. I'll take the and dolphins. then, and then you do you want over or under 53. God. Um, I'm going to take the over too, which I don't know if I, I'm comfortable with that over. Like I kind of wanted the over too, if you want the under. God, the bills have scored like, just like 40 points every in the first two weeks. <laughs> like that's just hard to do. Like the bills are already scoring 40. Um, what, what do you think the line, the money or the, uh, what do you think the line would be on a bills lions game right now? 70. 55 and a half. I mean, like yeah. realistically, 55 and a half, probably. Um, do we you still want to bet that one? The yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I'll take the I'll take the dolphins plus six, and then I will do um just the way it plays out. Um, the dolphins can't, I mean, can they compete in a game at plus six if the game goes over? What was the spread of the, the Ravens game last week. Was, I can find out. The Ravens Dolphins oh, game. The over is minus two thirty. Oh really? Yeah the the over the under is so plus about, one. That I, line's about to move. Oh yeah, I'll I'll go over then since I'll snake draft. I'll, I'll just right, go with I'll, the better odds. Give me give me the under. So you, you have the Bills uh, winning by six under fifty three. Okay, but the Let's the see, first one's over, the one that matters. You just under, get the bonus. Where was it that I was able to find these over unders? I thought they had it on Pro Football Reference. No, if it's probably on ESPN. Here's gonna be another slot fest on Thursday. Pittsburgh at Cleveland. <laughs> Browns are five point favorites at home. I don't believe that line though. God, that Bears one. Like, that should be a pick em. Bears, Texas. <laughs> Probably will be. By the end of it. Um, the over-under was 43 and a half. Oh, my yeah. God. Ravens, <laughs> so just the Dolphins hit that. Wow. Or not quite, but. uh, Yeah, that's why. Do we have anything else to add to the show? I'm trying to just zip through these shows now. Let's see. Yeah, it makes it, it makes it better. I'm, yeah, I'm I'm good with where we're at right now, unless there's any other topic you wanted to talk about. Um, I don't. I'm not totally sure. Um, those are our bets. Uh, we haven't. We don't have any other season long bets at the moment. We'll have to kind of think of a few after two or three weeks. We can kind of um go our our only season long bet is i have tom brady over 32 touchdowns and you have 32 and under or it might have been 32 and a half i can't remember we've got it written down somewhere yep that's the only season long bet that i know of it looks like the bills game does go final 41 to 7 yuck um yeah it's a tough one um yeah, when we get Speaking into of tough ones, yeah. trying to figure out my bet for today <laughs> for tomorrow. Um, when we get uh, into interdivision play, well, obviously we'll go through the matchups that matter, and we'll throw in the tomato versus tomato divisions. Um, um I'm gonna just do a quick um, updated standings based on what I can see. Um, just a little quick. Let's see here. 
Holy shit. Round robin is so wild. Do you know what that is? Is that soccer? No. So round robin's a betting strategy where you take like you take all your picks, right? Mm-hmm. And then you bet every single combination of your picks in a parlay and then like separate. So you've like your your I have six games lined up that I kind of want to bet on. So you take your six games and you bet every combination of that. Okay. It's a lot. So I'm still projected to win by two. That's, that's going to be the closest one. Um, if all holds, I will be one and one. Patrick will be 0 and two. Um, Dark Horse. Oh, God, that's close to. Brinkman still projected to take the lead. If that projection holds, Brinkman would be 2 and 0, oh, while Dark Horse goes to 0 oh and 2. Uh, Blaster would drop to 1 and 1 after the shellacking by Drew to move 2 and 0. Oh. Uh, Scotch on the Silence, defending champ 0 oh and 2. Heath moves to 1 and 1. It's okay. Uh, Dr- Lean is still projected to win to get him to 2 and 0. Oh. Um, Cole will drop to one and one. We're going to have, what, one, two, three games come down to the final 15 minutes. And then, of course, Luke moves to two and oh once again. And sack it. Oh, and two. Like, it would have been really interesting if I ended up losing. Um, me, you, and sack it all be oh, and two. That would be wild. Mm-hmm. And then. A loser of you, I mean, loser. I mean, you two already lost, but loser of you guys, 0 and 3 next week. Because, oh, that's the next thing that we haven't hit on is the the, the preview, but um, that's not too big of a deal. Run through it real quick. Okay, quick, quick overview of the matchups for next week. We have, ooh, a couple bowl games. We have, um, Myself versus Blaster, who I've owned in the matchups that matter. Um, we have Cole and Heath. Early projections have Heath. We have Dark Horse and Patrick. Early projections towards Dark Horse. Drew and Brinkman. Early projections to Drew. Um, you and Sackett, another bowl game. Early projections bowl. slightly favor Sackett. And then we have Lean and Luke matchup favors Luke at the moment. So good luck. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck to everybody. Um, yeah, three, three of these matches are gonna come down to the, the last 15 minutes of this game, last 13 minutes. So gonna be interesting to see how it all breaks down. And yeah, another week in the books, fellas. And it's always good to get on and chat just about football. If anyone wants to be on the podcast, obviously we open that invitation. I know Sackett is wanting to jump on more often this year, so we will get him lined up on Mondays as well. Um, yeah. Next week, the uh, trophy will be up, and, well, I don't want to make the promise I can't keep, but plan is to have the trophy and the jersey steamed and prepped and ready hanging in there, and <laughs> you know, for my 0-3 start. Oh, there you go. All right. That's all. See you guys next week. See y'all. That's the-